All right, this is the uh, TV wall mount made by On O N N. I will leave a description uh, link in the description below. A um, couple things about these. People are really intimidated by these TV mounts, and over the years, they've become very easy to use and understand. So this is what it looks like unboxed. These are all your pieces. And this is the part right here that gets everybody nervous. There's all these different bolts and screws and washers and anchors, and what do you do with them all? So um, I'm going to make this as easy as I can because this particular mount... Um, I think is by far a huge step in the right direction to make it easier. So when you unbox it, this piece of paper is really important. It will help you line up where you want to insert either the lag bolts or however you're going to mount it, hopefully to a stud on the wall uh, into wood. Now they do give you these big anchors um, if you don't have that as an option and need to install it into drywall. But you use this hanging template to mark your holes. And then obviously this is the actual bracket itself. You can use this. It's not, you know, required that you use this. It's just, it's paper, it's lighter, you can tape it. I recommend taping it just to keep it all centered. There's arrows here for up. So this is not completely universal even though it looks like it is from the back. But you wanna have this arrow facing up. And then this particular one, you, want, you do wanna make sure uh, you have the correct uh, size because they come in varying sizes. So this one is for 32 to 47 inch TVs, holds up to 88 pounds. Most of them aren't even close to that. Um, not, I mean, not, not even close to that. Um, they do give you, sorry about that. They do give you this um, quick start guide. Again, this is one of the better ones I've ever seen. Um, it's very clear what the parts are for, what the numbers are. So you see they're numbered, or excuse me, these are lettered actually. So they're lettered. And then um, what you'll see is, you know, the tools you need. Um, it gives you just a side angle of what you're trying to do here. Um, so it's, it's all very well laid out. The hardest part is figuring out where you're gonna mount it. And then ideally you wanna use those lag screws right there. A lot of these different size screws here are for the different brands of TV that are going to actually go through these holes and into the threaded part of the TV. I'll show you that in a little bit. But the way this works is really um, quite a simple concept. So this, this part is gonna mount to the TV. You're gonna mount this to the wall, and then when you're ready, this little hook right here just goes on like that and basically hangs, and then you adjust this bottom that already looks up. You got this bottom bracket right here. See how this, this is the tilt side. Oops, sorry. This is how it tilts via this little um, pivot here. You can tighten it down with that. Um, and then again, this this is um, it's super simple. Once you get this uh, adjusted correctly on the back of the TV and this mounted to the wall, as it sh shows here, I cannot stress this enough. Get help. Don't try to do this on your own. Um, two people on each side of the TV, you hoist it up there, get that clipped on the top, and then you can do the, uh, the tighten down on the bottom. So that's what you're looking at getting yourself into. Here's another detailed instructions that they have as well. But again, really all you need is this right here. Figure out where you're gonna put it. Make sure it's level. Very, very important. Some of these mounts actually have levels already built in them. Um, but anyway, I'll show you what it looks like in uh, the next step as far as mounting these to the back of the TV. All right, so once you find the right size screw um, for this TV, it's just this little teeny one. Um, again, it's not, I don't want to make this over complicated. Just look at the assortment you have there. Um, there are some where the, the slot on the inside here is really deep. Um, this one is not. Um, and then you want to position this in, so it's more or less in the center. Um, different applications, you might have to raise it or lower it, which is why there's a little bit of adjustment. But here's a little trick too. So there's a little bit of a lip right here. You can't really go that much lower. So I, I at most, I can maybe go one or two down. Um, but again, you, you want to make sure it's flat. You definitely wouldn't want that to be down here, and there's really no hole there either. So that's a little bit, a little bit of an issue. So don't overthink this. Um, make sure the screws are. Uh, all the way in and tight 
before you go and put it on your mounting plate on the wall. All right, one more thing I wanna explain before you go and mount it on the wall. This string controls that spring. So essentially when you go to put it on the mounting bracket, like I can show it to you. So this is the way, to, so here's the wall. You're gonna only need to slide this in here and then see that clip, see how doing it snap and now it's in.